Oh, good morning, everybody. We're here at the Quick Trip in the exact same spot we went to bed last night. Did you watch yesterday's video? Go back and watch that one. Or this one might not make sense. So I'm on my way down to Bristol, Indiana. I'm in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. I'm gonna go around the city. So I'm gonna go straight down Interstate 39 from here. Uh, so I'm on I-94 in Wisconsin. Then I'm gonna go down Interstate 39 south to Interstate 80 and go east from there. That avoids the majority of the city. It's about 75 kilometers or 45 miles further to go that way. But you don't have to go through Chicago. And you know how I feel about big cities. I love you guys. You guys are awesome people. I just don't like congested areas. They make me very anxious. But if there's a way I can avoid driving through them, I'll take it. Besides, there's a lot of tolls going through Chicago as well. And there's no tolls going down I-39 and I-80. I just have one toll, I believe, south of South Beloit to the I-39, just as you get into Illinois. Less tolls, so you take the cost of the tolls and then the cost of the extra miles and the cost of the mental cost of driving through Chicago. Take all of that, and for me, it's worth it to drive around if I have the time, and I have the time today. So here we are. This place was packed last night. Flying J was bursting at the seams over there across the street. And so was this quick trip over here, bursting at the seams. And there is even a McDonald's next door to this with big signs that say no overnight parking, but that was also bursting at the seams with overnight trucks. It was busy here. I've never actually seen it this busy at this location. So this is, this is the spot where I found to park overnight. I did my due diligence and asked around Walked around, looked for signs that say no parking. I found none. So I was out of the way here. And we had a good night. I just grabbed my coffee from in the quick trip there. Thanked them for letting me park here overnight. Now we're about to get back on the road. Interstate 94. It's about a seven hour drive from here. It's gonna be fun. Let's get going. So if you're new to my channel here and this is the first video or maybe the second video you've ever clicked on, welcome. People call me Trucker Josh. I'll respond to just Josh too. I'm just Josh, that's fine. On the internet, Trucker Josh, that's how you can easily find me. You can go to Google, you can tell your friends, hey, I found this Trucker Josh guy. Type it into Google, it's easy to remember. He's a trucker and his name's Josh. Trucker Josh. Easy what I do this driver, easy Dollar General, not too fast. So what I do here on this channel is I make videos every day of my life as a truck driver. I'm based out of Southeast Manitoba, Canada, which is just north of the border between Minnesota and North Dakota. You go up Interstate 29, straight north, and go a little east, so just above Western Minnesota. That's my home. I live about 60 miles north of the border, 60 to 100 miles north, just barely into Canada. But that's where I'm based out of, and that's my home. I love coming down here to visit our neighbors in the US. Fantastic people, the most generous people on the planet and very kind. Obviously depends on where you go, but <laughs> all of the people I meet, it's just like in Canada. Canada, we're known as the friendly people. Have you been to Winnipeg? <laughs> but anyways, that's besides the point. I make new videos here all the time, so you're welcome to join. Leave me a comment down below saying, hey, I'm new. And all of my friends here watching, they'll go down and they'll welcome you here. We've uh, we've been here for quite a while. I've been making videos for 13 years now. And you can go to my playlists and see that. I got them all organized there for you. You can watch them right from the beginning in a playlist. Then I got playlists for every year since 2014. And then there's playlists for videos I made before 2014 all the way back to 2011. So now that we're all caught up, please hit that subscribe button and buckle up. <sighs> Right, all right, buckle ourselves in so we don't fall out. Lights on for safety, even though it's daytime. We want people to be able to see us coming. All right. So I do my measurements in metric. I apologize to all my freedom-loving American friends. I understand you want to hear it in freedom units. I did try changing my GPS over to miles, uh, miles not too long ago, and I just couldn't do it. I was born and raised and educated on metric, so I do kilometers and kilometers an hour. I try to convert it when I can for you guys, uh, 
one mile is 1.61 kilometers. That's just over a kilometer and a half per mile. So I have 703 kilometers to go to my destination on my route and 703 kilometers in miles. So 436.824 miles. That's how much we got to do today. I tried to do the whole thing. I just, I can't make sense of miles and I apologize. I understand it makes perfect sense to you. You were born, raised and educated on miles an hour. Like how many feet are, are in a mile? 5,280. Why? Why are they such weird numbers? How many inches in a foot? 12? How many feet in a yard? Three? How many meters in a kilometer? 1,000. What is the boiling temperature of water? 100. What is the freezing temperature of water? Zero. It's just, it's just I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to try to make my case to you guys. You guys aren't going to care. <laughs> Uh, so I apologize for my uh, wacky measurement unit usage. I hope you can forgive me and subscribe anyway. Maybe we can learn something from each other. It's not a bad thing to learn a little bit about metric. I mean, mo most of the entire world uses metric, so it's nice to have it as like a, a second, you know, a second language almost, a backup in case you ever need it. In Canada, where I'm from, we learn both. We learn metric and the American system, but we rely primarily on the metric system. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. I love that the sun's not shining, and I know that sounds weird, right? But the sun's been shining so much lately, it's not because it's so nice and cool, but it's not cold. It's just nice and cool. Is this a road or is this a driveway? I'm gonna stop anyway and look both ways, backwards and forwards, up and down. Okay, here we go. Oh, why are the arrows pointing this way? Drive through this way. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, there's the exit there, so. I think it's pretty clear what I'm doing. Get out of Black River Falls here. It's a gonna be a good day. Oh yeah, there we go. Sing for me, come on. Oh, beautiful harmonies. Just the, the tires on the pavement, the stacks on the side of the truck. I love that song. All right, let's use the on-ramp for its intended purpose and let's get to highway speed, if we can, before we hit the highway. Now we're not holding up traffic. Oh yeah, no problem. There we go, there we go. Check, check, check. Nobody there. Block this road for 48 kilometers. All right, and there you hear it. 48 kilometers till my next something or other. Fun fact about Wisconsin highways, the gravel trucks here don't have mud flaps. You know, the trucks that need them the most don't have them, so they'll be throwing up lots of rocks at you. It's the only place that I know of that doesn't legally require it, from what I've heard. Which is odd, right? Especially on gravel trucks. They're always driving up on the gravel. Rocks will be getting stuck in their wheels and flying out into traffic. Yeah, you'll see every gravel truck in Wisconsin does not have mud flaps. I mean, if I was driving here, I'd put them on anyway. But strange, right? I always thought that was interesting. It's always been that way. As long back, as far back as I can remember. So I try not to stay behind them. So here's where the uh, Interstate 90 and 39 split. Going, if we went to the left, we'd be going
going to the city of Chicago. We're going to keep right. One kilometer. Keep to the right on I-39 US 51 Southwest 20. And we're going to go down towards Bloomington. Avoid the city altogether. In true Trucker Josh fashion. In 600 meters, keep to the right on I-39 US 51 Southwest 20. That's what I'm doing. I used to always go right through the city. When I first started trucking, I'd go right through downtown. I'd like, I'd stay on I-90, all the way through downtown. I think it turns into the 94 there, right? And then I realized, oh, the 294 is way better. Sort of like a bypass. That's, it's a pretty good freeway. But it still goes through the western part of Chicago. There's still a lot of traffic. And then I discovered, oh, I could just avoid the city altogether just take 39 down to 80 and then I just got to take 80 through the bottom half of Chicago and just sort of through Gary uh, Gary Indiana there you know lock your doors and just get through there in four kilometers keep to the right on I-39 southwest 51 south and then once you're on the other side I mean you're out in northern Indiana again beautiful country But I can't move over. Someone right beside me, man. There you go. Ah, it worked out. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, it's a good day. Look at that. The sun's starting to come out a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't come out too much. I like the temperature right now.
It's the next morning, so we got to the customer uh, about in the evening, around supper time. I just sort of, I, I went straight to sleep. I was tired, and I wanted to be well rested for today, tomorrow's vlog, because it's going to be a long day of driving. I have to get back by Saturday around noon, because it's Saturday at about 6.30. We have family pictures that we paid money for that we've like reserved. A, my mom got a, a photographer and everything. I can't miss that, so it's going to be a rush to get back. But this is the load anyway, and this is what I picked up. Three trailers. It's a nice light load that sort of slices through the wind. They're a little bit of a parachute over the top of my truck there, but for the most part, they just cut through real nice. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. We gotta start tomorrow's video. I'm in a rush. I don't know if I've told you yet. I'm in a rush. I don't have too much time to talk today. So tomorrow's video will be a lot of road footage. We gotta get as far as possible. I'll see you then. Take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos all the time. Go check out my playlists on my main channel. Lots to see.